I'm going to show you how to do a plate weaving. So first you need a plate and you're going to turn it over and you're going to work on the back to start. So I'm going to have a template for you to use. You're going to lay your plate upside down on that template. Now one of my templates has nine notches on it, another one has 19. 19 is a little bit harder than the nine, so it's up to you which one you want to do. They both give fantastic results, but 19 is a little bit more finished. So what you're going to do is at each of the notches on the piece of paper you're going to draw a line. And remember there should be an odd number. And then you're going to cut a little little baby cut on each of those lines. Then you're going to take your yarn and you're going to put it in one of the notches at the bottom. And put a little bit of tape on it to lock it in place. And then you're going to take your yarn and you're going to go all the way across your plate. Now you can't go directly across your plate because you don't have an even number. So you're going to go slightly to the left of whatever is across your plate. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my plate so that my, it's coming out of the bottom and I'm always going to go to the right notch and then I'm going to go across and make an X. This is not an X. I'm going to go across, make an X. This is too big of an X. I want to make the smallest X I possibly can. Then I'm going to turn my plate again. I'm going to go to the next notch that's the closest to it on the right side and I'm going to go across and I'm going to put it in the notch to make an X. This is not an X. This is an X. Then I'm going to turn my plate again and I'm going to go into the next notch that I made to the right of it. And I'm going to go across to make an X. And then I'm going to turn my plate one more time and I'm going to go into the notch to the right. Now right now I have almost like a good spider web. If you look at the back, I don't have any strings crossing in the back. So this is with nine. I'm going to take some of my yarn that's left and I don't want to go too crazy. And I'm going to cut a piece of it off. So not quite an arm's length, a little less. And I'm going to go to the middle. And what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to go under over, under, over, under, over, under, over. And when you get back to where you were, you're going to pull. Now here's the tricky part. You want to pull it and get it kind of to the middle, but don't pull it so hard your plate rips. Now you're going to keep weaving in a circle. So how do you know where you left off? Well, give it a little tug and, and a lift, and you can kind of see which one you left off on last. So I ended on under, so I'm going to go over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, and I have to keep pulling, and I got to keep pulling until that big loop right here disappears. Figure out where you left off, so I ended here on under, so I'm going to go over, under, over, under, over, under, un over, under, and I'm going to keep pulling, and I'm just going to keep going around and around and around and around in the same direction. You can choose to start by going clockwise or counterclockwise, but you can't switch in the middle. And I'm just going to keep weaving over, under, over, under. It might get caught in a notch, so pay attention to that. And make sure you keep going in the same direction and you try not to skip any. Now, when your string runs low, so let's pretend my string is low, like this. You can use the same color or you can use a second color. And what you're going to do is you're going to line up both strings together like this so that they're hugging each other right next to each other. You're going to oop, loop it around your fingers and tuck both of them into the hole you made. That's going to make a nice little knot. That way you don't lose where you were and push it as close to the edge as you can. And then take your next yarn about an arm's length again and you can keep weaving over, under, over, under. Just don't forget to keep going in the same direction and you might have to give it a little tug to figure out where you stopped. So again, this one has nine, but I have another one with 19. You could do any amount that you want. You can make your own counting. You can do your own counting and figure out what an odd number would be but I wanted to give you two options to start with. When you get to the point where you have this knot showing, you want to make sure you tuck it in because you don't want to say it. It doesn't look too pretty in the end. Also notice how I don't go all the way around and around and around before I pull. So it's over, under, over, under, pull, 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 pull. Over, under, over, under, pull, 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 pull. 
That's the easiest way to do it so you don't get trapped. And that is one way to do a circle weaving. Have fun!